and welcome to day two of the 2023 European Open Classic Powerlifting Championships coming to you from the beautiful winter wonderland that is Tartu in Estonia. If you were with us yesterday, you would have seen a wonderful competition uh, both in the morning and afternoon sessions. I think most people in the venue are still talking about uh, Kjell Egil Backlund's storming performance yesterday. But today, it's all about the uh, men's and women's competitions. It's the women's under 57 class, the men's under 83 class. Now, the way it's been split up is that we have the two B groups this morning. Those are the lifters in the class with the lower nominated numbers. And then this evening, um, I say, well, it's actually this afternoon, uh, 3 p.m. local time, we'll have both the A groups. But remember that competitors in the B group can and indeed often have in the past won medals. So don't think uh, that the lifters you will see this morning are doing anything other than battling as hard as they can to get medals. We saw the recent World Championships um, in Lithuania. We had one lifter get a bronze medal in squat in the over 120 class and uh, another lifter getting, I think it was the silver and deadlift in the over 120, both from the B group. So expect some top action this morning. The first of the B groups is the women's under 57 kilo B group. They will go back to back with the men's under 83 B group. And that is your morning session. You can see the first lifter just waiting for the bar to be loaded. It's Barbara Gap from Austria. And she will be opening, as you can see on the screen, with a squat of 120 kilos. And the bar is loaded for the first time today. Barbara Gap, Austria, comes to the platform. As you can see, both racks are in. Narrow stance. Oh, it looks like lovely depth to get the competition underway. And, that is three, white lights. and three white lights, and we are up and running. Greta Lakatos from Hungary is next up. And she will open with a squad of 122.5 kilos. So one two seven point five, I think it said one two two. That was actually her PB on the other screen. So she is actually opening five kilos higher than her personal best. That looked nice and smooth. Just waiting for the referee's lights. And still we wait. And yes, it's three white lights Amazing. in the end. And that is a good lift. One, two, on about that. Elise Rumans, Belgium. Elise Rumans from Belgium yeah. is next up. Bar is loaded. One, two, seven point five kilos. Elise Rumans, Belgium. One, two, seven point five in the bar. Ten kilos below her PB. Forty-two years old. Only been competing for four years. As Joe and I were saying time and time again yesterday, age is no barrier to either continuing in the sport 
or indeed to starting in the sport. Very high bar. Not look good. And we seem to be having some early teething problems with the lights. Yes, it's three white lights. Now, Anna Hensi from Switzerland is up next. And she also opens in 127.5 kilos. PV is 140. This should be well within her compass. And she is a physician and the previous lifter was a medical doctor. So the medical profession well represented on the platform this morning. Oh, it's lovely and deep. Shouldn't be a problem with that. And again, slight problem with the referee's lights. And three it's three white Lier lights. Hensi, Switzerland. Matilda Ustergaard, Denmark. Now Matilda Ustergaard from Denmark. She's opening on 132.5 kilos. 10 kilos below her personal best. Yeah, that looked a good squad. Once again, we wait in the referee's lights. Referees today are from Italy, uh, centre referee, side referees from uh, Great Britain and Finland. And uh, that was a uh, good lift, three white lights. Now, Yarina Korol from Ukraine is up next. 132.5 to equal her personal best. Oh, that's a lovely squad. And once again, we wait for the lights. Seems to be some intermittent problem this morning. Three but it lights. is three white lights. Now, uh, Yuli Fasida from Norway is taking 135 for her opener, 5 kilos below her personal best. And there's yesterday's uh, man of the moment, Backlund, in the coaching position the following morning. Nice, efficient squad. Again, we get the slight delay with the lights. Well, we're just going to do flags for. Ah, uh, uh, the the lights have come on, just as the Sorry, flags were about to be used. So it's uh, 
Malsova from uh, Czechia, Czech Republic, Czechia. He takes 137.5, her PB 150. Had to work a little bit coming up, but it was nice and deep. Should be good. Well, she got called on depth by two of the three referees, and that is the first no lift of the morning. Well, I think we've just had Mount Silva. It's uh, Aguila Padilla that should be up now, and there she is. Last out in the first round. 147.5 on the bar to equal her PB with her opener. That look good. And three white lights. Hopefully the lights are now fully functional. And at the end of the first round, uh, Aguila Padilla leads with 147.5 kilos. Poseida from Norway, second 135. Coral from Ukraine third with 132.5. Only one lifter still to register a lift, and that is Maltzova from Czechia. And it was an easy lift, just cold and depth, very marginally. So she should be fine in the second round. And this is Barbara Gap, 125 on the bar. Three white lights. Three white lights. Good lift, the cap. A one thirty-five on the bar now. Greta Lakatos, Hungary. Rubens, Hensi. No, Greta Lakatos from Hungary. One hundred and thirty-five kilos on the bar for her. Bars loaded. One thirty-five kilos. Lakatos, Hungary. Well, this is the lift to remember who opened over her PB and she's pushing it up to 135 kilos. Just taking time to get it feeling absolutely right across the back and shoulders. Looks up to tell the referee she's ready. And that looked good. Three white lights and a good list. Three Kattos white lights. Now, Elise Rumens from Belgium is up next. Uh, if you remember, we said there were two uh, medical professionals following one another. She is a medical doctor from Belgium. And this will take her to within two and a half kilos of her personal best. She had to really battle. She smiles, she's happy with it. And the referees say. The referees say nothing yet. We wait. And it's three white lights. 
Now Anna Hensi from Switzerland is next. The physician from Switzerland with a of 140 comes out to attempt 135 kilos. Good. And three fog lights. Now this is the only red light of the first round next. Uh, Martina Maltsova from Czechia. I actually thought it was good from the angle I was watching it, but uh, interestingly the ref on my side gave a white, uh, the other two gave it reds. So she just needs to find a little bit more depth and then everyone will be on the board. <laughs> oh, she went much deeper this time. And the referees say she waits. And yes, it's three white lights. Sigh of relief. And we move on to Matilda Ustegard from Denmark. And she's taking 140 kilos for her second attempt, two and a half kilos below her personal best. Strong on the way back up. And three white lights. Now Yuli Fosida from Norway. This to equal her personal best. 140 kilos on the bar. Once again, Kjellegel back alone on coaching duties. I wonder, did he have much chance to celebrate last night? What a performance that was. But this is Poseida. Well, she brought that up well. She smiles at the top. And three white lights. Now, uh, Coro. Well, her PB is 132.5 from the first round. And she is taking it up to 140 kilos. Second last out in the second round. No, just too much. Well, that is the first failed squat of the session, and we're nearly at the end of the second round. And it was a seven and a half kilo PB attempt. I thought she had it, but she just got it moving well. Just hit that wall, and it would go no further. Now, Ana Maria Aguila Padilla. 155 kilos also for a seven and a half kilo PB. Really good with her opener, which matched her PB.
Oh, that was strong. No, it was not deep enough, say the referees. Center referee and referee on the far side both give it reds. Let's watch again. Yeah. Just marginally high. And we are into the third round. A reminder that at the end of the third round, we will move to the second flight, which is the men's 83 kilo B group. So this is Barbara Gap, 130 kilos on the bar. Uh, Barbara's got a big deadlift, remember? She's got a, she's down for a 185 opener. No. I'm sorry, that is no lift. No lift for Gap. 140 on the bar now for Elise Rummens of Belgium. Now Elise Rummens from Belgium. 140 kilos. The next three lifters are all going for 140. But it's going to be different rack heights. Bar is loaded. 140 kilos. As the speaker Rubens, said, next three Belgium. lifters all on 140. On. Two after that. On 142 and a half, and the two after that, and 145. They are so evenly matched, this group. So, this is Rumens for a new personal best. PB is 137.5. This to move into new territory, but she had to work for the 135. Is there another five kilos there? No, no. So close. She probably had got the one three seven and a half, but why not go for a PB on the international stage? No, Yarina Korol from Ukraine is up next, also in one forty, as we said. Again, this is for a PB. She missed it last time. PB currently 132.5 and she will be very happy if she makes it this time. Now she thinks she's got it, she nods her head and the referees agree, three white lights. She is delighted with that. Now Hensi, Switzerland also on 140 kilos. This to equal her personal best. Fought that well. Three yes, three white lights. Once again, very, very happy with that outcome. Now, uh, Greta Lakatos from Hungary, 142.5 kilos. And it's so close, as you can see in the graphic on the screen, a uh, successful lift would move her from eighth to second place. Bear in mind, it's the B group. And takes her time to get the bar completely comfortable in the right position. Oh, that's a good battle. She smiles at the top. Let's see if the referees like it just as much. Yes, they do. Three white lights. Now, Matilda Ustegard. Also, 142.5. 
to equal her personal best. This to move from fifth to second with lifters to follow who could push her back down to fourth. Oh, that's a good squat. She's happy. Referees are happy. Uh, Martina Maltsova from Czech Republic, Czechia. 145 kilos on the bar. Bars loaded, no more changes. Oh, that looked good. She gets a red from the near side to the commentary table, referee, but uh, good by the other two. It was called in depth. Certainly looked good on replay, but then, as we've said many times in the past, one hip can be lower than the other, so it looks good from one side and not the other. Now, this is uh, Yuli Fasida from Norway. 145 kilos and this will move her from seventh to third place behind Maltsova on body weight. Oh, what a battle. What a wonderful battle. I thought she was gone there. And she gets one for downward movement, but it's two to one, a good lift. Uh, if there was any, you know, it was totally marginal. You'd want to give it to her just for the effort. Now this is Anna Maria Aguila Padilla. 155 kilos, she missed it last time. This is for a new PB. She has won the squat in the B group with her opener of 147.5. This to set a target for the A group this evening. This for 155 kilos. Oh, that's better. Much better. And she gets it two to one. And that sets the target for the afternoon group. And we can just have a quick look at the scoreboard before we move forward to the second flight. Uh, Aguila Padilla leads with 155 kilos. Maltzova and Fasida both on 145, separated only by body weight. And then another two on 142.5, Ustegard and Lakatosh, again separated by body weight. And we move straight on to the men's under 83 kilo B group. And first up is Joseph Abela from Malta. And he's opening on 200 kilos. Yesterday we saw from memory the first ever uh, Maltese medal being awarded to the gentleman who is coaching this morning and I can nearly remember his name.
think it was Farugia. And that's a good lift, two to one. Uh, far side referee called it in depth. No, Ferenc Visky. Ah, the jury has overruled the previous lift. And well, that's a, a mark for the referee uh, sitting her exam because she was the one who called it red and she was the one that the jury agreed with. So this is Visky. Just caught the racks on the way out. We've seen that a few times. It's a very big rack, this one. Uh, that looked nice and strong. And it might be worth uh, him considering having the racks in for his second attempt. Three white lights and a good lift for Visky. 222. He gets three white lights. No, Estonia lifter Desjatsky. Or is it Desjatsky? 222.5 kilos. PB of 232.5. A reminder, the referees are from Italy, Finland, and uh, from Great Britain, setting a CAT 2 exam. Oh, that looked like a really solid squad. Three white lights. And three white lights. Lights seem to be working perfectly now. They just obviously needed a little time to warm up. Ivan Korol from Ukraine. Well, we had a Korol in the uh, women's 57s B group you've just seen. And now we have one oh, in the men's 83s. 230 kilos on the bar, 252.5, the personal best. Oh, that looked like a good squad. Three Very right fast to depth. Nice right rebound right reflex right to help right the right start, right start right it back right up again. Now, right very right familiar right name, Timu Halfers from Finland. 230 right kilos right on the kilos bar. Also his PB, 252.5. Oh, it's a lovely squad. Three white lights. Three white lights. Now, Ian Pace or Pache, I'm not sure. Two thirty on the bar. Well, the speaker's saying patch, so for consistency, and um, because his research is probably better than mine, I will go with his pronunciation. 
lovely to see new nations come into EPF. That looks good. No, all three referees called it on depth. It was high. Yeah. No. Fried Bjorn Hilsen from Iceland up next, 235 kilos. PB of 252.5. So this should move well. It's a good squad. Three white lights. Now Arnold Wienhoff from the Netherlands is next. He's taking 240, his PB 272.5. Looks good. Three white lights, good lead yes, three, three white lights. Two, the Two more in the first round. Next up is uh, Jonas Larsen from Denmark. 240 kilos Mark on the bar. Larsen, Denmark. Remember in IPF rules, the only thing that can be adjusted on the platform is the belt. And there's Nikki Lenz coaching today. Competed in the uh, World Equip Championships in Lithuania only a couple of weeks ago and performed wonderfully well. Man, that looks good. Three white lights. Three white lights and a good lift. For last one, two point two point five on the bar now for Lukas Kreutzer. And the last out is Lukas Kreutzer from Austria. Two hundred and forty two point five kilos on the bar. Bars loaded, two forty two point five kilos. Kreutzer Austria. Well it's PB's two sixty point five. the chip would make you presume it's either a national record or a national junior record. Today, 242.5 for his opener. Okay. Came up really strong. But I was a little bit worried about the depth. Hate calling depth before the referees. It's so disrespectful to the lifter if they then get three white lights for that. Just looked a little high. And at the end of the first round, 
Uh, we have Larson leading with 240 on body weight from Wienhoff. Uh, Filson from Iceland, another five kilos back. Three lifters still to get one on the board. And this is Abela from Malta, one of those three with a red light against her name from the first round and he is retaking 200 kilos. It's just depth, a little bit lower, should be fine. Two to one, yeah. Well, the jury are looking at it. Uh, this is the one that was overturned by the jury last time. I think he's gone slightly lower. I think he'll be okay this time. Now, Visky from Hungary. 2.10 on the board. This for 2.20. This to go within two and a half kilos of his personal best. Look good. And three white lights. Now Ian Patch from Malta. Missed 230 last time on depth and it was three reds. He just needs to go that little bit deeper. It wasn't way, way high. Just needs to find uh, a couple of centimeters. But of course, Malta. if that's not what you do in training, it can be difficult to find it on the platform. Come on, Ian. Sink it nice and deep now, mate. Come on. These boys will catch you. Words of encouragement ah. from the speaker. Come on. Easy ah. weight. Easy weight now. Come on. Yeah, I think he sunk that lower. Wait for the referees. No, they say the same again. See, I'm confused by this because last time I thought he was good and then the replay looked high. Uh, difficult to tell from that replay, but uh, he has one more chance to stay in the competition. Now, Dzyatsky from Estonia up next. 232.5 kilos on the bar to equal his PB. He was nice and smooth with his, with his opener of 222.5. And that looks good as well. Three white lights, good lift, good lift. Yes, three white lights. Now we have the third of the lifters who missed out in their opener, have a red light against their name, and it's Lukas Kreutzer from Austria. He is retaking 242.5 kilos. PB is 260.5. This should be good. Just needs to find a fraction more depth.
Oh, he's having to really work, but that should be good. Yes, three white lights, three white lights but what an effort. Now, Timo Halford from Finland, jumping 15 kilos to 245. And we were talking about uh, rack in, rack out, and there we see uh, one in and one out. The clock ticks down towards 10 seconds. And he gets the squad command. Again, that looks good. Three white lights, good lead, Halfords. Yeah, Two three whites. Now, Ivan Karol. Taking 247.5, five kilos short of his personal best in the second round. Oh, what a battle. I don't think there was any downward movement there at all. That should be good. Yes, three, three white, white lights. Oh. Almost came to stand still, but didn't go down. Oh, he did so well to overcome that inertia and see the lift through. Now, Hlinson from Iceland. He's taking 247.5 again, five kilos short of his personal best. And although it's the B group, make no mistake, all these lifters will want to win the B group. There's Odin Jonsson, Iceland national coach. Busy with both equipped and classic teams. Oh, it's lovely and deep. Well, he gets a blue for, it must be for soft knees because there was certainly, do just watch the knees, was one of them slightly soft at the top? Um, not from this angle, but it's a good lift. Now, Jonas Larsson. 250 kilos on the bar. That looks good. Three and three white lights. Lift Last lift of the second round is uh, Arnold Wienhoff from the Netherlands.
That's a great squad. Three white lights and a good lift for Bain and that's the end of the second round and a quick reminder of where, well we'll see the replay first but it was a lovely deep smooth squad and uh, Vainhoff leads with 252.5 from Larson 250 Hilson from Iceland 247.5 on body weight ahead of Karol of Ukraine we're into the third round and this is Abela from Malta. Missed 200, got it at the second attempt. Now going another 5 kilos to 205. This would equal his personal best. Oh, it looked good. And it's 2 to 1. Two to one. A good lift, a good lift. 225 goes on the bar now for Felix Bisky of Referee on the far side from the commentary table called it on depth, but uh, it's good lift. Now Ferenc Bisky from Hungary, 225 kilos on the bar, and following him will be the most important lift of the day so far because that will determine whether uh, Ian Patch of Malta remains in the competition or not. This for a new PB. Well, he's brought it up strong. Two to one. Two to two one. one. It's a good lift. Right. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we've got two thirds. No, of this the is Ian Patch. The speaker is just encouraging the crowd to get behind him. It's a powerlifting crowd. A powerlifter needs their help. Now there's no strength problem bringing the bar back up again. He just needs to go that centimeter deeper. It's not been way high, it's been just high. So he just needs to find a little bit more. Everyone willing him on. Find the depth. Well, that looks good to me, but the first two have looked good to me as well, and they've been reds. And it's reds again. Two to one, and Patch goes out of the competition. And the jury are looking at it again. Is going to the jury, the jury are looking at it. My fingers across 240 on the bar for the Jatsky Estonia. Bar is low. And I'm seeing um, uh, lip reading, and the head of the jury says the Malta coach it was high. And that is the end of it for Patch, I'm afraid. And this is uh, Desjatsky from Estonia on the platform. 240 <coughs> kilos on the bar for a big seven and a half kilo PB. Looked really good on the first two. Can he put seven and a half kilos on his personal best in his home country? No, no. He made the depth. I'm sorry, that is no lift. No but lift. Uh, unfortunately, didn't manage to bring it back up. Brave attempt. Now, Timo Halford from Finland. He's taking 250 kilos. PB is 252.5. Bars loaded, 250 kilos, half force, mid -line.
but every one of these lifters will want to be the best lifter in the B group. So they're not giving away kilos with um, speculative attempts. It's all controlled. And Halford, again, he's looked really good on his first lift. Had to work a little bit more on his second, and there's another five kilos on the bar. And I would guess the Finns have got this just right. That looked good. And three Three wide lights. Now Lucas Kreutzer from Austria, also on 250 kilos. A reminder at the end of this third round, we'll take a 10 minute break. And then we'll be back with the women's under 57 bench press. having to really work oh what a battle just couldn't get through that sticking point gave everything he had now Ivan Karol from Ukraine also taking 252.5 and this will put him from fifth to second with the lifters to follow Reminder, if you're just joining us, uh, this is the B group from the 83s. No medals at stake right now, although all their lifts will be pulled together with the A group that will lift this afternoon. What a great fight, and he nods his head. He got through the sticking point. He knew he got three it. Three lights. wide Two lights. Now, Fridbjorn Hilsen. Two hundred and fifty-seven point five for Hilsen. This will be a new PB by five kilos. Current PB 252.5. And he's made big jumps. He's gone 235, then 247.5. Now another 10 to 257.5 for a five kilo personal best if he makes it. Oh, it's a great squad. Coach is happy. Lifters happy. Lifters very happy. Referees are happy. Three white lights. Two lifts to go in this morning squad session. Uh, Jonas Larsen, Denmark, 260 kilos. Now, this to equal his personal best. He's been really solid on his first two lifts. This moves him into the lead in the B group with only one lifter to follow.
Nicky Lenz watching on again. Very high belt for the Danish lifter. And if you want anyone as your squad coach, it's got to be Nicky Lenz. One of the best pound for pound squatters in the world, full stop. Oh, that is a great fight. Come on, yes. I think that's good. Three white lights. What a battle to get that. But I guess if it was easy, everyone would be doing it. Now, Arnold Wierhoff, Wienhoff, my apologies. Netherlands, 262.5. This to win the mini battle within the B group. He's down to third. And this to move back into the lead. Party Cayley giving last minute words of encouragement. That looks solid, that looks strong. Three and three white, white lights. And that's the end of the squat element of this morning's competition. We'll just uh, see the replay, uh, run you quickly through the leaderboard and take a short break. And as you've just seen, uh, Arnold Wienhoff from the Netherlands leads after the squat, 262.5. Larsen from Denmark with that fantastic squat is second to 60. And Clinson from Iceland again with a fantastic third round squat, 257.5, is in third place. Join us again in nine minutes for the under 57 kilo women's bench press.
And welcome back to the 2023 European Open Classic Powerlifting Championships coming to you from Tartu in Estonia. If you've been with us earlier, you will know that uh, we are having back-to-back -back B groups this morning. It's the women's under 57s and the men's under 83s. You can see the running order for the under 57s, which is just about to get underway Please as the clock takes down to zero. And the first up is Elise Rummens from Belgium. And she will be opening on 62.5 kilos. As you can see her personal best 75. So this should be a nice, comfortable opener. We're in the Belgian t-shirt that I'm the very proud owner of one. Courtesy of my friend Rob Esselens. Greetings, Rob, if you're watching. It's a great opener. Three white lights. Good luck for Rubens at 62.5. Next way on the bar is 67.5 kilos. Ana Maria Aguilla Padilla. Now Aguilla Padilla Spain. from yeah, Spain. Let's get ready. Last out in the squad, second out in the bench press. Is loaded 67.5 kilos a guia patia of Spain. Thing in Spain has come on so much in the last five or six years. That's a great opener. Three white lights. Three white lights. Now Barbara Gap. Austria. Österreich. Austria. Whichever way you want to say it. I'll say it both in one word. Lakatos, Mount Soba. Get ready. There is Barbara Gap. Bar is Our specialism is deadlift, of course. PB of 75 on the bench, opening on 70. Look good. Three white lights, good lift for Cap at 70 kilos. Yes, three white lights. Now Greta Lakatos from Hungary. 70 kilos on the bar. 70 kilos loaded, 70 is her kilos, PB. Lakatos, Hungary. I always think it's slightly risky to open on or very close to a PB, but how will this be? Ah, easy. Well, she's only been in the sport for two years at a competition level, so obviously improving fast. Uh, now Martina Maltzova from Czechia. She is also opening on 70. PB is 80. Start. 
That looked nice and easy. The overhead view, three white lights. The overhead view also gives an impression of the strain on the athlete that you don't normally get from the conventional camera position. Now, Matilda Ostergaard from Denmark is up next. 77.5 kilos on the bar, five kilos short of her personal best. Nice and easy opener. Three white lights, good lift, first to guard. 77.5 And she gets three Yarina white Paul lights. Now, Yarina Karol. is loaded. Karol, Ukraine, loaded. Yeah, we have a Karol in the women's under 57s and a Karol in the men's under 83s, both B groups. She's opening 77.5. Yarina Karol. PB is 85 kilos. Nice opener. Three white lights. Good lift. Karol. Karol. On the bar. Yuli Fasida, no. Now, Yuli Fasida opening with 85 kilos, representing Norway. Her PB 87.5. That's a good opener. Three, white Three lights, good fine lights. Right Last bar, out Anna in the first round is Anna uh, Hensi from two. Switzerland, La Suisse, 92.5 kilos. 92.5 kilos, Hensi, Switzerland. So she says to the spotters, I'm going to take a deep breath and then give me the bar. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a nice opener. Well, she got a yellow from the center. I, I thought I caught a fraction of a double movement on the chest. Just watch it again on the chest. Mm, I think that's what the yellow was for. And the jury are talking to each other, but nobody's looking to press a button. Uh, they may be pressing a button, you know. Yes, the jury is overruled uh, for a double movement on the chest. And that was uh, Hensi from that Switzerland. That's nice. And that should be three white lights. Uh, just waiting for one vote. Been a few problems with the lights this morning. Oh, waiting for that set to vote. There it is. Three white lights and a good lift. Yeah, three white lights. Uh, next weight on the bar is uh, a 70 kilos. Anna Maria Aguia Padilla. No, Anna Maria Aguia Padilla from Spain. 
It's almost like the first line of a song, isn't it? Anna Maria Agia Padilla. Seventy kilos for her second attempt. Only gone up two and a half kilos from her opener. Referees have all given Sorry, yellows. No I thought I saw this time it was a double movement at the top. Right, See, she went before the command and then went sold. again. So it's a uh, no lift for Agia Padilla, unfortunately. Barbara Gap. Uh, Barbara Gap from Austria. Again, she's only gone up two and a half kilos. Opened in 70. This is 72.5. Yeah, it looks good, but it's amazing the difference two and a half kilos she's makes of these lighter body weights. She gets a yellow from the far side now. If that means butt off the bench, the jury are going to be looking at this, so let's see it. Well, no, but the MC says, uh, speaker says the feet moved. Now, Lakatos from Hungary. 75 kilos on the bar. Equals her BB PB with her opener. And now going five kilos further. She's having a great day. Her total PB is 330. Prognosis, she's already on 360 if she makes this. And three wide lights. Now Martina Maltsova from Czechia. 75 kilos on the bar. She was good with 70. Her PB is 80, so she finds herself right in that middle ground with her second round attempt. No. Well caught loaders, well caught. No lift, Maltsova at 75. Matilda Östergaard from Denmark is next, 82.5 kilos. Bars loaded, 82.5 kilos, Östergaard, Denmark. Oh, that was good. Had to work getting it moving, but once she did. Now, Yarina Korol. Ukraine. She's taking 82.5. PB is 85, so this is about where she should be for her second attempt. good three white lights 
Three white lights. Good lift. Good lift. Next way on the bar is 87.5 kilos for Saida Norway. Now, Yuli for Saida, her ready. second attempt. 87.5 kilos to equal her personal best. Looks good. She almost looks surprised how Three easily that lights. went up. Good lift. Good lift. Okay, on the bar now. now the final lift of the second round, this is uh, Anna Henze Four from lights. Switzerland. Now remember, this was the only red light from the first round. There was a double movement on the chest, which was supported by the center referee as a result of which the jury overturned the two to one good lift. So she just needs to be very solid on the chest this time. There was no problem pressing it and all should be well. Well, no such problem this time. Three and lights. three Good white lady. lights. And I think a little Five sigh of relief lady. there. And that's the end of the second round. And at the end of the second round, we can see that uh, Hensi now leads with 92.5. Uh, Fasida in second place with 87.5. Corol on 82.5 is third, ahead of Ostergaard on body weight. Into the third round, and it's Elise Romans from Belgium out first, 70 kilos on the bar. <coughs> Still slightly below her personal best, but it's about what you can get on the day that counts. Oh, that's good. In fact, I think that was better than the second lift. And three, three white lights. So, Ana Maria Aguilla Padilla. Missed her second round attempt. If you remember, there was a double movement at the top. I think what she did was she started before the press command, realized what she'd done, put the bar back to the start position but uh, by then of course it was too late so just solid at the top wait for the start command and all should be well yeah that should be good Well, she gets a yellow from the centre referee. Not sure what that might have been for. But it's good to do one. I should also have said she went up two and a half kilos from uh, second to third. This is Barbara Gap. Opened with 70, made it look easy. She really had to work with the extra two and a half kilos on the bar. Now, can she manage two and a half kilos more? If she can, she will equal her personal best. What a battle, but no, I was just worried that that extra two and a half kilos would prove just no too much and so it was now Martina Maltsova missed this last time 75 kilos on the bar Uh, 
Well, the PB is 80, but the 75 just seemed too heavy last time. Can't you do anything different? No, same. Not today. Now, Greta Lakatos from Hungary is next. 77.5 kilos. A reminder at the end of this third round, we move straight into the men's under 83 B group bench press. This for a new PB. Ah, that looks good. She'll be happy with that. Blue white right lights, good lift, Akathos. 85 on the bar now, Matilda Ustergaard, Denmark. Now, Matilda Ustergaard, 85 kilos on the bar. Again, this is for a new personal best. And I nearly forgot I was commentator and not speaker and said uh, no more changes because after this there will be three more lifts. Old habits die hard. No, no. Well, called Lotus. Well, she so equaled her PB. Now, Yarina Karol. Again, that extra two and a half kilos has proved too much, and that is a no lift for her as well. And she's good really moved well in fact she looked slightly surprised afterwards how well it moved oh just too much sorry that is no lift no lift for you. i'm sorry to say 100 kilos on the bar now and a pb is 100.5 which is clearly a, a national record and she can't go for the chip unless it's a record attempt so for all intents and purposes uh, this is her equaling her personal best on the European stage. And remember, she had to retake her opener. Has it forced her into too big a jump? Or has she just taken the planned second attempt as the third? Oh, it's a great bench press. Let's see how that was. Three white lights. Three white lights. Okay, next on the bar is... And uh, we'll perhaps a very, very quick summary before we move away. Uh, if we don't, I can tell you that Hensi is in the lead after the, of the bench press. Fasaid is second and Coral third. And in terms of subtotals, it's uh, Hensi from Fasaida and uh, Agia Padilla. Padilla in third place. There we are. Yeah, you have the screen now. And yeah, we move we over the to Malta. the men's like under 83 B group. First Pass weight in the bar, Blinson. Joseph Polo. Abela Bingo. from Malta. Half and his opening was 115 Blinson. kilos. Bars loaded, 115 kilos, Joseph Abela, Malta. had to work but it's only five kilos short of his personal best most of these Maltese lifters are having their first ever experience on the European platform you got a blue from the center referee I suspect soft elbows it didn't go down yeah the left elbow was slightly soft
No, this is Roland Desjatsky, Estonia. And he's going 125 kilos. Looks good. And that's three white lights with a good lift. Desjatsky, 140 on the bar now for Ian Patch. Also from Malta, Larson Biski, get ready. Now, Ian Patch from Malta is next. I'm not going to belabor the point, I'll just say it once. Um, sadly, he didn't get a squat in. Bars loaded, um, kilos. He was Patch eliminated Malta. from the competition, but he can continue and compete for medals in the bench press and deadlift but not in total and of course in your first ever international experience at a major international why would you not want to continue battle no it's gone down and Apache is not having the best of days I'm afraid yeah looks like the rat got away that is no lift no lift next one the bar 150 for Jonas Larsson uh, 150 in the bar for Jonas Larsson get ready Denmark Well, he came second in the squat within the group uh, and out quite early in the bench press, but then there's not much between them. He's opening on 150, the next one's 152.5, then 155. Again, this is hard work for an opener. It's three wide lights, but the question is where does he go next? So Ferenc Viski from Hungary. What a battle that was from Lars. Oh, it's a nice opener. Three white lights. And three white lights. Now, Fred Bjorn Clinton from Iceland is next. He's a teacher. His PB is 162.5. He opens with 155 kilos. Bar is loaded. 155 kilos. Clinton, Iceland.
Oh, that's a great opener. Three white lines, good leg Pinson. 160 on the bar now. Now Ivan, Ivan Korol. He's opening 160s, PV 172.5. Bars loaded, 160 kilos, Ivan Kolol, Ukraine. Uh, that's a good opener. Right. And three wide three lights. lights. Now Arnold Wienhoff from the Netherlands, Netherlands next. 165. Top of the three in the B group after the squats. And third last out in the bench. And he's got a good deadlift as well, so Wienhoff has a very good chance of being top of the B group when this morning's session is over. That's a great opener. And three wide lights. Now Timo Halfors from Finland. A very good bench presser. PB 190 opening 175. Takes down below 30 seconds as he gets himself physically and mentally ready for the challenge that lies ahead. Well, he got the start command at 11 seconds. No. Well caught, Lotus. Well caught. No. And I'm not sure if that was something technical or if it was just too heavy. He looked quietly shocked, uh, looked slightly shocked not to have made it. So he was well below his PB, but not this time. Now Lukas Kreutzer, last out in the first round, opening in 185. His PB, well, he's in the 200 club. His PB is exactly 200 kilos. So 185 should be easy, but we said that about uh, Halfors as well. And on the day it wasn't. That's a great opener. Three white lights. And at the end of the first round, we have um, two reds on the board from Pache of Malta, who sadly is not having the best day. And also Halfors from Finland 
into the second round and it's Joseph Abela from Malta. He's only gone up two and a half kilos from his opener and he's two and a half kilos below Barzoli, his personal best. Kilos, Abela, Malta. Yeah, he seemed pretty much at his limit with his opener. Uh, and as we've seen many times today already, that extra two and a half kilos has proved to be the straw that broke the camel's back. And Roland uh, Desjatski from Estonia is next. 130 kilos. This is to take him within two and a half kilos of his personal best. No, it's gone down. No. It's another no lift, I'm afraid. Sorry, that is no lift. No lift. The Zhatsky at 130, 140 on the bar now. Ian Patch, Malta. Larson, Bisky, get ready. Well, Ian Patch, Malta. All I can say is we wish him well. Come on Ian, let's get it done this time. <laughs> Clock ticks down towards 20 seconds. Gets himself mentally ready, takes the bar. Finally gets the start command. Come on. Oh, yes, I think that's good. What a fight. And yes, three, three white, lights. white lights. And he manages a little <laughs> smile. Now, Jonas Larsson, Denmark. He was good on one. 50. He's now taking Just too much, I'm afraid. Well called, Lotus. That is no lift, no lift for Larson. One five seven. Oh, we're having a sea of reds in the second round so far. So far, the only green is Pache of Malta, and I can tell you that he has turned down his third attempt. He's just uh, happy to get one on the board. That 140 took everything he had. Now, Ferenc Visky, Hungary. Jumping five kilos to one five seven point five, two and a half kilos below his PB. I've got a, an old man here offering me money. <laughs> I don't know what he wants for it. <laughs> so this is whiskey. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, that looks good. Three white lights and a good lift for Miski Walt Sixty on the bar now. Three white lights. Clinton from Iceland, 160 kilos. Bars loading, 160 kilos, Clinton, Iceland. This is to take him within two and a half kilos of his PB. Coach Johnson giving last minute words of encouragement. His 155 was really good. Oh, the 160 was as well. And three white lights. Three white lights and a good lift. We'll load the bar now to 167.5. Now 167.5 on the bar for Ivan Karol. Get ready. Now the bar is loaded. 167.5 on the bar for Ivan Karol. Five kilos short of his personal best. Again, a good strong opener. Had to work to get it moving, but once he got it moving, very smooth to lock out. And the clock's ticking down towards 20 seconds. Same as last time, struggled to get it moving a little bit, but once he did, it was never three going anywhere else but lock out and three white lights. Now, Arnold Wienhoff, been very impressive today. 172.5 on the bar for a five kilo PB. He opened him 165, PB 167.5, and he's jumped straight to 172.5. One of my travel companions on the plane over to Tallinn on Sunday afternoon. So for a five kilo PB in the second round, this is Wienhoff. No. No, it just twisted slightly. And I think the twist cost him all his momentum. I think he can get that next time. Now, Timo Halford missed his opener 175. And he has gone up two and a half kilos. Well, they know far better than me what went wrong and what can go right. But I think if I was coaching, I'd have taken the 175 again. With two lifts to go in the second round. His PB, as we said, last time is 190. In theory, this should be easy, but theories and practice can be two very different things. Come on, Timu. No. Oh, dear. Why put more weight on the bar? Well, one to go, and I just hope there's something I'm not seeing, and it's it's just a slight technical error that can be corrected, and the butt was way in the air as well, even if he had locked it up. 
not looking promising. He has one more attempt. In the meantime, Lukas Kreutzer from Austria is taking 190. Reminder that at the end of the third round of bench press, this is the last lift. The second, we'll have a 10 minute break. And then we're back for the under 57 women's deadlift. And that looks good. And he gets a two to one. Well, he gets a red from the center referee. You can be sure the jury will look at it. It will be for elbows. And I'm not sure. I am honestly not sure. We're all going to go crazy. Right now, we're going to load the bar to 117.5 kilos for Joseph Abela of Bolsa. He'll be followed by Dijatsky, Larson, Disky, Flinson, Coral, Beanhoff, Alphos. And now we're into the third round, and loaded. it's Joseph Abela. And I'm keeping half an eye on the oh, jury. Yeah, it's. I thought it would be overruled. So uh, Kreutzer's second round attempt at 190 overruled. has been overruled for lack of elbow depth. Meanwhile, back on the platform, it's Abela missed this last time. Ah, it's better, it's better, much better. It should be good. Three white lights, good lift. And three lift. white lights. A reminder, Patch has uh, declined his third round attempt. So next up is uh, Desiatsky from Estonia. He missed 130 last time. Taking the same weight again. 130 kilos, Desiatsky, easy. Can he find something extra in his third round attempt? Just wondering, was that ever motionless in the chest? Well, it doesn't matter because it uh, didn't go up. Vinson, get ready. Now, Jonas Larsson, Denmark. Missed 155 last Is time, loaded. taking it again. 155 kilos, Larsson, Denmark. That uh, little beep signifies 30 seconds of the minute remaining. Afraid not. Irresistible force, immovable object, no lift, unfortunately. 162.5 on the bar. Ferenc Vizky, Hungary, Flintson, Kolo. Now, next ready. up is uh, Ferenc Vizky from Hungary. This for a new PB, currently 160, on the bar 
No, it's just stalled, I'm afraid. I'm sorry, that is no lay, no lay. What's it for five on the bar now for Fingjorn Flinson, Iceland? Now, Finson from Iceland taking 165. Again, this is a PB attempt. He's been really good with his first two lifts. Can he make it three Bob from three and walk away from Tartu with a new bench press PB? Oh, he's working for it. He's really fighting, but no. So close. Such a good attempt. That's a real shame. But a no lift, I'm afraid. And as the speaker says, he gave that everything he had. Feet were moving, but that doesn't matter as long as they stay fully in contact with the floor. Now, Karol. He's only gone up two and a half kilos. Obviously felt he was close to his limit, the second one. And now both of them, it's once he's got it moving, he locks it out fine. I think for Kroll, it's all about the first two or three inches. If he can get that initial drive, then he can finish it. No, no, I just couldn't get a move in this time. Well, we have only one green light in the third round so far as everyone is uh, attempting their absolute max, and that is Abela from Malta, who was the first out. Next, we've got Vinhoff. Missed 172.5 last time, taking it again. This is for a five kilo personal best. He's got a moving better. Oh, I think that's good. I think well, that's good. What a great battle by Beenhoff. No, he got blues. And now let's have a look at the replay. I think uh, there might be a visit to the jury. No, the whole of the bar didn't go down. There was marginal downward on the left as we look at it. Jude is examining it closely. I think this might be overturned, but in the meantime, it's Timu Halforth. And he needs this to stay in the competition. This must go. 177.5 for Halfords to stay in the competition. It's 12 and a half kilos below his personal best, but that doesn't matter now. It's just a weight that has to be moved to lockout.
Well, he's given it everything, but on the day, that was just too heavy, I'm afraid, and uh, Halford is Halford out of the competition. He can't compete in deadlift, of course, but cannot now contend for Austria. overall medals. And I can just tell you that Wienhoff's, uh, the appeal by Wienhoff's coach was unsuccessful. The jury did not overrule the referee's decision. And this is the final bench press of this session. And it's Lukas Kreutzer from Austria. Now, he got it last time 2-1, to one, but the center referee gave it a red-red. And the jury on that basis overturned the good lift. And he must now take it again, and he must somehow find a way to get his elbows a fraction lower. No. Well, Sorry, that is no I'm way just way looking at that closer. third round. That is amazing for classic bench press as opposed to be equipped. Apart from Abela from Malta, who was the first man out, every other light in the third column is red. And as a result of that, Kreuzer wins the bench. Well, Kreuzer leads the bench press in the B group with 185 from Karol with 167.5. Wienhoff with 165, and I'm not sure we can see subtotals quickly. Kreuzer leads at subtotal 427.5 from Wienhoff only in body weight. Karol from Ukraine, third 420, just behind him is Hilsen from Iceland, 417.5. Join us again in nine minutes' time for the deadlifts.
And welcome back to the 2023 European Open Classic Powerlifting Championships from Tartu in Estonia. We uh, got two B groups this morning. I'm sure you've been watching earlier, but if you haven't, we've got the women's 57 B group and the men's 83 B group. You can just see the running order as we are about to get into the deadlift phase of the competition. First two lifters will be opening on one for 2.5. The first of them will be Greta Lakatos from Hungary. And her PB 137.5, so she will be opening with a 5 kilo PB attempt. Only been competing three years, as we said uh, earlier in the transmission, so obviously improving very fast. And here we are getting the deadlifts underway. One four two point five for a five kilo PB. Wow, <laughs> was ever a PB achieved more comfortably? And just wait for the lights to confirm. Yeah, I've been having one or two issues with the lights this morning. Yeah, can we go flags, please? And I think we're going to go flags. And it's three white lights, three white flags. Now, uh, Anna Heinze, Henze, my apologies, from Switzerland, 142.5. The, uh, the winner of the competition within the competition on the bench press. And she was leading on subtotal with 240 kilos. This will put her to 382.5. Nice easy opener. Three white lights. Good lift. Three and white lights. Now Yarina Korol. And that should be good. And three white lights. Now Matilda Ustergaard, Denmark, 155 kilos. Denmark. That's nice solid opener. Three white Three lights. White lights. Good lift for this guard. One fifty five remains on the bar for Yuli Poseida. Yuli Fasida from Norway up next, 155 kilos on the bar. Well below her personal best.
Looks good. Rewind lights, good lift for Sider. Next weight on the bar is 167.5 kilos, 167.5 kilos. Uh, Ana Maria Aguia Padilla from Spain, opening in 167.5 kilos. She's only two and a half kilos below her personal best. This would give her 395 subtotal, and she would be in the lead at the end of the first round, irrespective of what anyone else does. Within the group, of course, there is no medal battle yet. That looks good. And if she makes a five kilo jump, she'll PB in the second round. Three white lights. Three white lights. Now Martina Maltova from Czechia. One seven five on the bar twenty kilos also below her personal best and if she makes this she goes to 390 she will be in second place at the end of the first round Looks good. And perhaps more importantly, plenty more left in the tank. Three white lights, good lift, melts over. 177.5 on the bar. Rumens, Belgium. Now the Hensey, get ready. Belgian lifter Rumens, Elise Rumens next. 177.5. She's got a best of 192.5. Looks good. Three white lights. Three white lights. Next one the bar is 185 kilos. Barbara Gap, Austria, Hensi, Lacatos. Now, last out in the first round, well known for her deadlifting prowess. She'll be a bit disappointed to be in the B group, but she can contend for a medal here. It's Barbara Gap, and she's opening with 185. Her PB is 196, Austrian record. Ball loaded, 185 kilos, Gap, Austria. Oh, that's easy. Now, just for reference, Gap is Masters 1. The World and European Masters 1 record is 192.5. And I would say that's within her scope today. So it'll be interesting to see where she goes with her next two lifts. But meantime, we're into the second round. And it's Anna Hensey from Switzerland out first. 152.5. You can quickly see that in deadlift, uh, Gap leads 185, Rumens 177.5, Maltzova 175. The member of Gap does go for a record, she cannot chip it, but she has gone for the record in the second attempt. She's attempting 195 for a new World and European Masters 1 record. That looks good. Three white lights, good lift, Hensi, 155 on the bar, Greta Lakatos, Hungary. 
Uh, Greta Lakatos from Hungary, 155. Well, she equaled her PB with 142.5 in the first round. She's put another 12 and a half kilos on the bar. This will be a huge personal best if she can make this. 155 kilos. Wait for a little celebration if this is good. Smashed it. Three wide lights. Yeah, still got the game head on. One more lift to go. Now, Yarina Korol, Ukraine, 157.5 to equal her personal best. Again, it's a 12 and a half kilo jump. Not quite. Wait for it. Easy, Tiger. Oh, that's good. Ooh, yes, three white lights and a good lead for Coral. One six five on the bar. Matilda now, Ustegard. Matilda Ostergaard, Denmark. She's going one six five, five kilos away from her PB. Bar is loaded. One sixty five kilos. Matilda Ostergaard, Denmark. Great lift. Three white lights, good lift. There's the guard at 165, 167.5 on the bar now. Yuli Fasida, Norway. Now, Yuli Fasida from Norway is taking 167.5. Bar is loaded, 167.5 kilos. Fasida, Norway. That's good. Three, Three wide, wide lights. lights. Now, Anna Maria Aguila Padilla. Deadlift PB is 170. We thought she might go 172.5, but no, she's gone 177.5. For a big, big seven and a half kilo PB with a further lift remaining after this. Bar is loaded, 177.5 kilos for Ana Maria Aguia Padilla of Spain. See if she gets this and gets it well, she could be looking at the 400 club today, which would be 182.5, of course. It's over 400 pounds. Oh, that's a good deadlift. And she gets three wide, wide lights. We're two Scott lifts away from the Masters three One World Record attempt by Barbara Gap. It's uh, Martina Maltzova from Czechia. This is 400 pounds, but she's been Bar's here before. 182.5 kilos. Yeah, and Aguila Padilla has indeed gone for 182.5 in the third round. We wish her well with that.
Looks good. Well, she gets a red from the far side referee for not fully locked out. That's what the red indicates. Uh, looks good to me. But then the referees have a much, much better position. Now, Elise Rumans, Belgium, 190 kilos to get within two and a half kilos of her personal best. Bars loaded, 190 kilos, Rubens, Belgium. And she is Masters 1 as well. Her PB is 192.5. I suspect she is the current record holder. I can't confirm that. But her PB is the Masters 1 world record. And she gets 190. And it's three wide lights. Wide lights. Now, this is a new Masters 1 world and European deadlift record attempt by Barbara Gap, Austria. Masters one. That is a Masters one world deadlift record. Yeah, just to clarify, it was showing in the screen originally. It's a world deadlift record, just to so confirm it's a world like Masters one. And of course she cannot chip it, it's, it's not a Masters oh. competition. She has to go the whole the full two point five kilos over. So one this is for a new here. world record. Master Barbara Gap. But Rumens has gone 197.5 in the third round to take the record back if Gap gets it. Oh, that's a great lift from Gap. Let's see those lights. Three white lights. World Masters one deadly. Fantastic. But I think if she wants to leave with the record today, she might have to go 200 for her third round attempt because Rumens has gone 197.5. Oh, yeah, and Gap has gone 200 uh, to come past Rumens 197.5 in that event. And look how close this is and what a... What a battle they're putting on. This is just the B group, remember. And we've got uh, two lifters battling over a Masters 1 world record. Subtotals, Aguilla Padilla leads 405. Fasida 400. Maltsova 397.5. Rumens 395. Gap 392.5. Henze 392.5. This is so close. Start of the third round, Hensi 160. The physician from Switzerland. And that is waiting for the lights, three white lights. And the celebration is that is a new personal best in total. She has hit the magic 400 kilos. Yarina Karol, Ukraine, 162.5. Again, this is for a new PB. Her PB is 380. This is for 385. And it's also a five kilo PB in deadlift. So pulling for PBs in deadlift in total. Now just too much brave attempt. But B group or no B group, as you can see, these lifters are giving it absolutely everything. She just about broke the floor, but no more than that. Now, Greta Lakatos, Hungary. Well, she's been having a great day. 
she has jumped another 12 and a half kilos. Her PB coming in was 142.5. She's pushed it up to 155, and this is an incredible 167.5. And it'll be a big total PB as well. Total PB 375. This for 387.5. So expect to see some real celebration if this lift is good. It's huge jumps as well. It's moving. Oh, she's no. Sorry, just too much. Rip. Unfortunately, that is no lift. That is no lift. But uh, brave attempt. Is, uh, now, Yuli Fasida, Norway. She's going 172 and a half against a PB of 170, and her current PB is 400, which she's already achieved, and this is to push it up to 405. So once again, deadlift and total PV attempts. Let's see, these lifters are Bosley. giving it absolutely everything. Just not That's moving. Okay. She laughs she about it. About it. 175, obviously, that's the last lift. Didn't leave the floor. 175 on the bar now. Matilda Ustergaard, Denmark. Agia Patia, Mansova, Rummens, and Gap. Get ready. Two attempts to change over. No, Matilda Ustergaard, Denmark. One hundred and seventy five kilos. PB one seventy, it's another PB. And this would also put her to the magic four hundred. Her PB is three nine two point five, so she will want that four hundred. And again, expect a big celebration if she makes this double PB attempt, but also the magic number. Oh no, she just dipped it. That's going to be blues. Oh, what a shame. She had the strength. What a shame. Now, Anna Maria Aguilla Padilla. 182.5 for her. It's the magic 400 pound deadlift. And she will also get a new total PB. She's currently on 405. Got that PB in the second round. This is to push it up to 410. Oh, wow, she really wanted that. What do the referees say? No, all three gave blues. Yeah, yeah, can't argue with it. You just want to give it to the lifter sometimes for the battle, but uh, the rules have to be applied. So, this is uh, Malzova. And after this, we will have the Battle of the Masters 1 World Records. And the bar is loaded for Malsova. Malsova, Czechia, Rubens, Gap, get ready. 
This will put her to second overall within the group, remember? She can't improve her deadlift position. Never really locked out, sadly. Great attempt. Sorry, that is no lift. No lift. But uh, all three reds with uh, little red ooh, squares underneath no indicating so the lift was not locked out. Right, the next uh, two lifts will both be for the World Masters 1 deadlift record. Rumens was the holder on 192.5. Gap took it with 195. Rumens is looking to take it back with 197.5 and then gap will come with a 200 so we have a little deadlift record battle right here at the end of this session ladies and gentlemen for your delectation right here in tartu estonia the bar is loaded 197.5 kilos elise romans to take Belgium. back the world master one, one deadlift record, record. 197.5 on the bar Double overhand grip. It's coming, it's coming. She's fighting it. Oh, she's still pulling, but she just cannot lock it out. What a fantastic attempt. So the world Masters 1 record holder leaving here today will be Barbara Gap of Austria. The question is, will the record be 195 or will it be 200? Loading the bar to 200 kilos, because let's face it, if you're going to take home a deadlift record, it might as well be 200 kilos, right? None of this 195 kilos business. So, can she do it twice in one day? The bar is loaded. Here we go, the bar is loaded. Barbara Gap for the magic 200. And for yet another world deadlift record. She's done 196 in non-international competition. Can she do 200? It's going. Oh, yes, that's good. That's a great wow, lift from Gap. Wait for the referees. Yes, three wide lights and two world masters, one records with successive lifts for Barbara Gap, Austria. How good was that? And just to summarize in the deadlift, Gap with two world records, finishes on 200 kilos, Rumens on 190, Maltzova on 182.5. And in total, Agia Padilla sets the target with 405. Henzi is second with 400. Poseida also on 400. Maltzova 397.5. And we are into the under 83 deadlift. And first out, Timo Halford, Finland. Now, sadly, he didn't register a bench, so he cannot make a total. 225 kilos, Timo Halford, Finland. It would not totally surprise me if he does one deadlift and leaves it there. Yes, yeah, nice and easy. Well, he gets a yellow from the center referee. Not sure what the yellow was for. See if we can see. I can only imagine uh, perhaps the grip was loose before the bar hit the floor. Now, Ian Patch Malta hasn't had the best of days. Didn't get a squat. Got a bench at his second attempt and declined the third. He'll want a good deadlift competition.
That's better. And three white, white lights. lights. Now Lucas Kreutzer from Austria next. 245 kilos. Bar is loaded. 245 kilos. Lucas Kreutzer, Austria. Forty-five seconds. Voice closer. And I'm not sure that he's coming out. Okay, so um, what's going on back there, ladies and gentlemen, is a man trying to put on his deadlift socks as fast as possible. He's got 20 seconds to Yeah, go he, the TC wouldn't let him pass with uh, short socks. 15. And I don't think he's going to make it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, no. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And that will no be lift. registered no as a no lift. And next out, uh, Joseph Abela Malta, 245 kilos. Abela of Malta, Corol Larson, get ready. The bar is loaded. Abela, 245 kilos, Malta. Oh, that's a great opener. Three white lights. Now Ivan Karol. Larson, Visky, get ready. Karol's taking 250. PV 262. Bars loaded, 250 kilos. Ivan Karol, Ukraine. That looked nice and smooth. Three white lights and a good lift for Coral. 255 on the bar now. Jonas Larsen of Denmark. Visky, Linkster, get ready. Jonas Larsen of Denmark is next. 255 kilos is the challenge that awaits him. Bars loaded. 255 kilos. Larsen of Denmark. And that looks good and three white lights. Good lift, Larson, 257.5 on the bar now. Felix Visky, Hungary. Klinson, Vainhoff, Deshjansky, get ready. Bar is loaded, 257.5 kilos. Visky, Hungary. Looks good. Three and white three white lights for Visky. Flintson from Iceland is next. 270 kilos. Um, clearly there was a, a, an Icelandic record of some kind because his PB is 278.
normally in these cases it's a national record but it could also have been an area record within the country That looked very easy. Three white lights. Right. Good lift, good lift, Linson. 275 on bar. Arnold Bingho, Netherlands. Dzhatsky and Hal Force get ready. Last two lifts in round one. Yeah, Arnold Bienhoff is next up. 275 kilos. Bars loaded. 275 kilos. Bingho, Netherlands. Looks good. Three white lights, good lift, Beethoven. 280 on the bar. Roland Dzhatsky, Estonia. Halfors, patch, get ready. Roland Dzhatsky, Estonia. 280 kilos on the bar. He's a big, big deadlifter. He's got a PP of 312.5. And he is the last out in round one in the B group. Now remember, we often see medals won from the B group, most frequently probably for deadlift. So Dzyatsky is hoping to set a target that many this afternoon will be unable to beat. Looks so easy. Well, he got a yellow from the uh, centre referee. I'm just wondering, that was it the put down? Did he let go of the bar too soon? Certainly looked an easy lift. Yeah, he let go of the bar. But at the end of the first round, he leads with 280 from Wienhoff and Klinsen. And into the second round. Well, I was totally wrong. Timo Halpers has come out again. And he's taking 240 kilos. Looks good. Well, right, two right, of them no called lift. it for lockout. No uh, shoulders not back Alpha's far enough. I thought that was just his natural finishing position. Quarter. Just watch Quarter. it again. But two of the referees... Yeah, the shoulders two moved forward. Ian two Pats. of the referees did Malta. not like that. And it's Ian Patch from Malta. Taking 240 kilos for his second attempt. Looks good. Well, he gets a blue from the far side referee. Either downward movement or resting on the thighs. I'm not sure it was either one of those. Now, Kreutzer missed his opener, two, four, five. Bars loaded, 
Kilos Kreutzer, Austria. I think if I'm correct, it was for letting go of the bar too soon. Ah, of course it was the socks. Yeah, he never he actually never made it out because he didn't have his socks on. That looks good. And he gets three white lights. Three white lights he and is and on Ule the board. Now Ivan Karol from Ukraine. And of course, they will all want to win the group. Five Currently five leading six, after uh, one four four round at subtotal is Vinhoff with two with 702.5 but this is Carol <laughs> for a lift of 260 that would put his total to 680 kilos <laughs> looks good Three white lights, good lift, Corol, 265 on the bar. Joseph Abela. And three white lights for Corol now. Joseph Abela. He's going 265 kilos. And he's the Maltese record holder, one would imagine, with a deadlift PV of 280.5 kilos. Bars loaded, 265 kilos, Avela, And three white lights. Good lift, three white lights for Avela, 272.5 on the bar now. Now uh, Ferenc Visky from Hungary, 272.5, 15 kilo jump to take him to a new PB, currently 260 is his PB, this 272.5, also for a new total PB, currently it's 642.5, this would take him to 655 kilos. Looks good. Three white Three lights. White lights. 275 on the bar. Jonas Larsen, Jonas Larsen Denmark. Denmark. 275. This is within five kilos of his personal best. The bar is loaded at 275 kilos for Larsen of Denmark. Oh, I don't think he got the down command there. No. That's such a shame. That is no little so loss. So close. Was just going as he lost the callus, possibly. 282.5 on the bar now. Fritz Bjorn Flintson, Iceland. Fritz Bjorn Flintson from Iceland. 282.5 kilos. Clinton, the Iceland record holder of 278, which is his PB, and this is to push that record and his PB up to 282.5 kilos. Oh, 
That looks good. Coach is happy. Lifters Lift happy. Three Thanks wide three wide lights. No, Arnold Dainhoff. Get ready. Two ninety to equal his personal best. And this will put him to seven seventeen point five and almost assure him of the victory within the B group. Two ninety kilos, Arnold Benhoff, Netherlands. No, just came out of his hands as he was Griffin about to lock it. So that is no lift. 300 kilos on the bar. Roland Dejatsky, Estonia. Now Roland Dejatsky, Estonia, is last out in the second round and he is taking 300 kilos, which is still 10 kilos below, sorry, 12 and a half kilos below his personal best. And he will have half a mind to getting a deadlift medal once the afternoon guys have lifted. He's going to have to do this and then go heavier to have any realistic Bars chance. Wins. 300 kilos, Roland Dejatsky, Estonia. Looks good. Well, he got a, a red from the far side referee for not fully locked out. Watch it again, make your own mind up. Yeah, I think that was good, but I say different positions see different things. But at the end of two rounds of deadlift, uh, Dejatsky leads with 300. From Linsen with 282.5, Vainhoff 275, and Visky 2.5 kilos further behind. In total, Vainhoff has 702.5, Linsen has 700. So close at the top. Patch from Malta, 255 kilos. Uh, as you can see, he cannot make a total because he was unable to register a valid squad. Oh, that looks good. Fought that up well. No, he got blues. Just watch if the bar was supported on the thighs. Yeah. Uh, Lucas Kreutzer. Missed his first attempt because the TC wouldn't let him out without the appropriate socks. Got it second time now. He's jumped 20 kilos. This would put him on 265. Bars loaded, 265 and a total of Kreutzer, eight. Austria. A total of um, 692.5 if he makes this lift. What a great battle. 
and he puts it down almost as slowly as he takes it up and it's three wide lights. Good lift, good lift, right sir, three wide lights. 270 on the bar now, Ivan Korol, Ukraine. Uh, Ivan Korol from Ukraine. 270 kilos on the bar. This is for PBs in both deadlift and total. So as we've said several times, although it's the B group, these lifters are giving absolutely everything they have today. And powerlifting at its most basic is not about medals, not about titles. It's about getting stronger and stronger and lifting more than you ever have before. And that's what Carol will do in both deadlift and total if he makes this lift. Just Not about broke the floor, and that was it, I'm afraid. So Jonas Larsson missed 275 last time, taking it again. If you remember, he got it almost to the top, and then his grip just gave way. And sometimes you don't totally focus on the grip because there are so many other things to focus on so this time it's full focus on the grip do everything else as well and hopefully he can turn red to green No, I think he's used everything on the second attempt. Probably Sir, lost to Callas, and uh, there was just the nothing more in the tank. The now, now, Joseph Abela. 285, and I think this will be for a new Maltese national record. Abela currently has it at 280.5. There's some confusion of who's next. But uh, no, it's actually Visky that's next. I'm not sure. I think there may have been. No, I'm not seeing any changes. I think it was just a human error. We had a a button problem over here. I'm sorry to say. So sorry, loaders. Please load the bar to 280. So, five kilos will come off the bar, and Visky will be next. Bars loaded. Looks good. And if it is, that's a seven and a half you kilo right, PB in deadlift. And now we'll open the bar for 285 kilos. And it's good. Uh, Joseph Abela from Malta with what we think is a new Maltese national record attempt. 285 kilos. Also gives him 607.5, which will be a two kilo total PB as well. Bars loaded, 285 kilos. 
Rose Abela Malta. He's fighting, he's fighting, and he's locked it out, and the referees say three wide lights, good lift. Now this is the battle to win the group between the next two lifters, both on 290. If Linson lifts this 290, he will go to 707.5, five kilos ahead of Vainhoff. But if he misses it, Van Hoff wins the group, irrespective of whether he gets the lift or not. So this is to possibly win the B group, because Van Hoff will be attempting a weight he missed last time. Uh, but Clinton has just PB'd at 282.5. Can he find another 7.5? He's trying to win the group, that's why he's picked this number. Icelandic fire. It's going. Oh, he's locked it out, and I think that's good. Three white lights. And who says B groups don't matter? Look at the intensity. Look at the effort. Look at the joy at the successful outcome. And now, if. Vin uh, Hoff, who has been leading almost from the first squat if he wants the kudos the glory of winning the B group he must make this lift and it's a lift that he missed last time it came out of his hands is loaded. this for a total of 717.5 which the A group will have as their target. And this to win the B group battle. Iceland or the Netherlands. Got to squeeze that bar like he's never squeezed it before and just keep on pulling. Oh yes, I think he's locked that out. What's the left shoulder back? Well, he two gets it one, two to one. And that puts uh, Vainhoff at the top of the B group. And there is one more lift in this morning session. And it's Roland Desyatsky, 310 kilos. And this for a chance of a deadlift medal later today. Bar loaded, 310 kilos, Dejatsky, Estonia. Come on, sunshine, let's have it. Oh, it's going. He has locked it out. That should be good. And it is. No. He got one yellow, one blue. And the Estonia coach doesn't just go to the jury table. He sprints to the jury table. So he can see what the jury are seeing. Now, they only have to overturn one of the lights. There was a blue and a yellow. And I think it's been overturned. Certainly, I couldn't see anything wrong with it on replay. And we'll just wait for a moment. Uh, Silva, are you overturning that lift? Yes, that is and a So good the lift, lift is overturned, and it's a good lift.
for Desiatsky and we can see the deadlift result, 310 for Desiatsky. That is what anyone that wants a deadlift medal will have to beat. Uh, Vainhoff and Plinson both on 290. And in total, Vainhoff wins the group 717.5. Plinson is second with 707.5. Third place, Kreuzer of Austria with 692.5 kilos. And that concludes this session. There will be no medal ceremony. That will be later today. The afternoon session commences at 3 p.m. local time here in Tartu in Estonia. And that will be the women's 57 and men's 83 kilo A groups back to back. Join us then. But until then, from myself, Martin Flett, bye for now.